my name is Holly and welcome to Coding with Minecraft Education Edition. To get started, load up your game, press play. We're going to do create new, new, and then make sure to put yourself in creative and then scroll all the way down. Double check and make sure that code builder is enabled and then I personally like to put on always day. Then hit play. Once you're in the game, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are in a good amount of flat land. So let's go over here. Alright, now that I'm on the flat land, to open up our coding interface, press C on your keyboard. That will drop the agent next to you and then bring up this interface that's got tutorials and videos and lots of helpful tips. So to get going, let's do new project and then I'm going to name it flower trail because this particular project is going to create a trail of flowers anywhere we take a step. So name it and hit create. Every time you boot up code builder, it will start with two different commands on start and on chat command run. You won't be needing either one of these so all you have to do is select them and then press delete or backspace on your keyboard. And now what we need is a player one. So we're gonna grab on player walk. And this is telling us that something is going to happen every time our character walks. And what we want to happen is to place a flower. So we need a block and then place block at with coordinates. Well, we don't want it to be grass, so we're going to change this to flowers first and foremost. We won't mess with this quite yet, but these are X coordinates, Y coordinates, and a Z coordinate. In Minecraft, the X coordinate is relative to the position left and right of your character. The Y coordinate is relative to what's above and what's below your character. And the Z coordinate is relative to what's in front and what's behind your character. So since we're just gonna leave this here for now, we're gonna hit play, and then we're gonna just start walking. If we turn and we look, we're creating a trail of flowers everywhere we go. But one flower is super boring, right? So let's just go back in and add another one. Press C again, and go back into blocks, and grab another place at block. Let's change this one to the corn flower, and then hit play again. You can see that it's starting to add the blue, but it's doing it very sparingly because we didn't change a coordinate. And so the game is trying to put them on top of each other, which you can't really do. So hit C again, and then I'm going to change this one to a positive one and this one to a negative one. You can see that there are two rows with one empty one in the middle. Since we have an empty one, we might as well add another flower, right? So let's go in, grab another block, place block at, and let's pick, how about a white one? We don't have to actually change a coordinate here because the X is different for all three. So now if we hit play and we start going backwards, we should see three rows, and we do. Congratulations, you have officially done your first code in Minecraft Education Edition. See you next time.